So I'm going to talk about compliments. And just as a disclaimer, I'm not going to talk about what they're used for. I'm just going to tell you how to get them. So before we start, I'm going to define a couple functions. Let's call this the comp function. I made these up. They do not exist. There's just a way to think about these in a simpler way. So the complement, and let's say, accepts three inputs, x, b, n. And so x is your value, b is the base, and n is the number of digits. And don't worry, we'll go over how to use this in a minute with an example. So just remember what the function is. And that is equal to b, n, minus x. So we're calling this the complement function. Let's define another function called the co-complement function, which accepts the same inputs. And it's equal to b power of n minus 1 minus x. So that's the co-complement function. And as you can see, they're really similar. Uh, this one's just b n minus 1. This one doesn't have the minus 1. And because of that, we can actually relate the two. And we can say that the complement of x, b, n is equal to the co-complement of x, b, n plus 1. OK. So let's do an example. Let's say we have the number 3, 21, and base 10. And I want to find out what the complement of this number is. And you can see the C that I put here represents the complement in base 10 of this number. So let's find that out. So we're going to use the complement formula, which is equal to bn minus x here. So let's find out um, our inputs x, bn. x is going to be equal to 321 base 10 b, our base, simply the base here, base equals 10, and n equals the number of digits. And we have three digits here, so it's 1, 2, 3. Three digits. So let's plug that into our this formula here, and we end up with 10 to the third minus 3, or 1,000, I'm sorry, 10 to the third minus 321, base 10, or 1,000 minus 321 base 10, and since this is also in base 10, 78. So our answer is 678. Oh, I'm sorry. So what's our answer? Our answer is 678. Um, 679. So 679, which is actually in 10C form, or 10, the 10 complement form, or the complement of the base 10 number. So <clears throat> let's do another example. Let's do 321 base 10 is equal to what? In the 10 co-complement form. How do we find the co-complement? We have a formula for that. We need three inputs, so x equals b equals n equals. So what is x equal to? x is equal to 321 base 10, b is equal to 10, n is equal to 3. We plugged in in our formula, and we end up with 10 cubed. This is a formula right here, 10 cubed minus 1 minus 321 base 10. And we end up with 1,000 minus 1 minus 321 base 10, which is equal to 999 base 10 minus 321 base 10. Now this is interesting because we can do this really easily in our head. It's a lot harder to subtract 1,000 minus 321, but 999 minus 321, you simply take each digit and subtract 9 minus that digit. So 9 minus 3 is 6, 9 minus 2 is 7, and 9 minus 1 is 8. So that is our 10cc form.
10 co-complement form. Now notice, remember this formula up here, and we can rewrite this as saying, you know, in say 10C uh, plus, you know, 1 and base 10 is equal to, 10CC is equal to what? And 10C. And you can see uh, the the tens co-complement is you know one minus this. If you added one to tens co-complement, you'd end up with the tens complement. And we'll come back to why that's important. But first, let's do two more examples with binary. So let's ask, what is one zero one binary equal to in twos complement? So let's find out what x b n is equal to. Remember, x is just the entire number, 101, 2. Base is 2, and we have three digits, 1, 2, 3. And we're going to plug it into our complement formula, bn <coughs> minus x, so 2 to the third, minus 101 to the power of 2, or base 2. And we find out what that's equal to, 2, 4, 8, minus which is in base 10, minus 101 in base 2. And let's convert everything to base 10, just to make our lives easier. 101 is 1 plus 4, so 5 base 10, which is equal to 3 in base 10. And if we convert that to binary, we end up with 0, 1, 1 base 2. Now notice I put a 0 here, and that's because we want the output to have the same number of inputs as the original. Okay, let's do one more. Let's find out what the two's co-complement of 101 base 2 is. So we know our input values are just going to be the same that we have here. And we're going to use the co-complement formula, which is just bn minus 1 minus x. So what do we end up with? It's 2 cubed minus 1 minus our value. And this is all in base 10. So that's going to be equal to 8 minus 1, 10 minus 101 base 2. And that's going to be equal to 7 base 10 minus 101 base 2. And if we convert this one to base 2, we actually end up with 1, 1, 1 base 2 minus 101 base 2. And that's just like we had here. We had 9, 9, 9. But we have 1, 1, 1. And we can do that you know, in our head. We can subtract 111 minus 101. We just break up each digit. We end up with 0, 1, 0 is the 2's co-complement. Okay. Now, let's take a look at, you know, our answers here. And specifically, let's take a look at our binary answers, because that's what we're most concerned about. Um, if you look at the 2's co-complement of binary, first thing you should notice is that 2's co-complement, you just invert all the bits, so 101 becomes 010. So we can actually, you know, write that out. Um, so let's talk about our answers real quick and why it's significant that some value and why, <clears throat> why we need co-complement and complement and what they're used for. If you noticed, when we tried to take the complement of a number, we ended up with a, you know, a harder solution, you know, 3 uh, minus 0, 1, 1 is a lot harder to figure out than 7 minus 1, 0, 1. And, you know, 8 8 minus 5 is a lot more difficult to figure out than 7 minus uh, 5 because all you have to do here is subtract, you know, 111 minus 101. In the same case with the co-complement of 321, we only had to use 999 instead of trying to subtract from 1,000. So obviously taking the co-complement is much easier. And since it's easy, all we have to do is add 1 to the co-complement to get the complement. So if we wanted to write that out as an expression, if we had some value x base co-complement, 
plus one base equals our y b c. So all we do is first we find the co-complement, we add one to it, and we get the complement. And this is what we're interested. We're interested in the complement, but the co-complement is a means of obtaining the complement. So let's do this uh, rather quickly with a binary number. Let's say we want to find the complement of a binary number. So let's get, we're given, let's say, 1101, and it's in base 2. Well, first we're going to convert to the co-complement. So what is 2cc? What is the co-complement? Okay, that's easy enough. All we do is we take the formula for co-complement, which is b minus bn minus 1 minus x. So let's find out what uh, x, b, and n are for the function. x equals, you know, the entire number. b equals our base. n equals the number of digits, 4. <clears throat> so we're going to take 2 to the 4. So we're going to do that. Minus 1 minus... 1, 1, 0, 1 squared, or to the base 2, and this is all base 10. 2, 4, 8, 16, so that's 15 minus 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2. This is base 10 still, which is equal to 1, 1, 1, 1, base 2 minus 1, 1, 0, 1, base 2. That's just equal to 0, 0, 1, 0, base 2. And that's going to be the co-complement form, and all we have to do to get the complement is we have to add one in the same base, so to get convert this into, so if we want to convert 0, 0, 1, 0, 2 cc into something 2 c, 2 complement, all we have to do is add one, so 0, 0, 1, 0 plus 0, 0, 0, 1 gives us 0, 0, 1, 1, and that's going to be in 2's complement. Okay, so not that difficult. Not that difficult. I want to go over some vocabulary terms first, though. Um, I feel like the definitions and word choice used with complements makes the subject a lot more difficult than it has to be. So I'm going to write down four common terms, tens, complement. Let's do nines complement and twos complement and ones complement. See, I think these terms are misleading because they don't tell you what base they're describing. And these terms up here are describing base 10 terms while these are describing base two terms. And if we wanted to write out explicitly, which I think is a good idea, uh, tens complement is simply some number x times base of 10 complement. And the nines complement is simply x 10 co-complement. Two's complement is x 2c, while the ones complement is x 2cc.